Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better Show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better Show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host. Uh, uh, it's Lee Silber. What are um, you doing? I'm running. This is the topic today, hit the ground running. Hit the ground running. Excellent. So Lee and I are both still in shutdown. So we're recording at our own homes rather than the studio with Wayne like we normally do. So just giving you a heads up if things sound a little different. So we're going to hit the ground running. Right, Lee? Well, it feels like it's now that time. I, I'm not sure that it is, but it feels like it is. And what I mean by that, it's time to start looking ahead. And with an eye towards what can I do now so that when things go back to quote unquote normal or things kind of open up and all this time we have at our home where we could be doing all these things to better ourselves, to better our home, to better our office, to, we'll be gone and we'll be back to being as busy as we always were. And so I thought, what can we do now so that when things get normalized we are way ahead of everyone else we're so ready to start and, and and start running meaning we're hitting the ground running and i feel like it's better to focus on the future in, in a sense and what what is to come the positive versus what's happening now so by thinking about what when things what will things look like what do i need to do to be ready for that whatever's coming next and um I think so, so we have this inside time. We have this uh, quote unquote free time. Um, hey, I'm not working. So, so I get it. And so I've been fixing up things around the house and all things that it sounds like, well, why would that's not hitting the ground running, but it does when, when I do get busy again and things, I will have done all these things that have been on my list of things to do for years. They're almost all done. So that's awesome. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand that. Um, we, everybody's sort of been in this mode where we've hunkered down. And yes, it is kind of, are we, are we going to be getting out? Is it safe to go out? Who knows? I mean, we're in the very early, early stages of that. But I do believe just being able to see that, hey, we might be coming out of this gives us the opportunity to go, okay, I've been in my comfort zone or discomfort zone now's the time to take some time to figure out what i want me me to be or what my life to look like going forward yeah we, we i mean to me i do watch the news and i keep you know up abreast of what's going on but i sometimes realize like, i have no control over what's happening oh yeah in this so i've let go of that but uh -huh. like you said i'm thinking about okay what can i do now for instance my LinkedIn page, I went through it. It's like, wow, this is I'm so dated. So I'm updating that, updating my That's resume. Funny. You know, um, I'm looking, I'm boning up on technology, learning new ways to do things faster, better, easier ways to do things using technology. Uh, I'm reading more than I, I have in the past. I've uh, turned to audio books. So while I'm working, I'm listening to a book, which is better in myself. So I'm learning new things. And I just feel like if, you were to take this time and use it to either get ready to hit the ground running. And that also means, like I said, I'm doing home improvement projects and um, to, to be ready. So all that's off my plate, but also I'm thinking about what is, what is my industry going to look like? And what do I, what am I going to need to do? If one thing I noticed is I doubt I'll be speaking at any conferences in the near future, but we may still be doing uh, workshops and breakout sessions and keynotes virtually. So I'm looking at, I went through my wardrobe and like, does this look good? Does that, you know, I've organized things, got rid of the, cut a bunch of clutter from my files, from my wardrobe. If this doesn't make me feel good or help me get where I want to go uh, or make me look good, then it's gone. And so boy, did I clear out a lot of stuff and it feels so good to let go of things that don't serve you anymore and don't help you go where you want to go. That's awesome. You have, you've been crazy busy. Uh, I mean, I, I got rid of all my pants because everything will be from the waist up. Just, yes. <laughs> just kept the tops. Uh, oh, that's so funny. I did a Zoom call yesterday with a, a woman who is a fashion, not like a fashion consultant. And we talked about what to wear for Zoom calls. And you always want to have pants on because you don't want to get up and walk away and everyone sees you. Don't have pants on. But that's beside the point. Um, 
So I love that you're getting all of that done because you are looking towards the future because right now we can only control what we can control. And there's all of that stuff out there. Like you said, the news, holy cow, that, that can make your head explode or social media. So uh, what you can control with an eye towards going forward. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. And I feel like there's, a, you know, all what we talked about, you know, fixing things, organizing things, getting rid of things, getting yourself better business wise. And personally too, you know, this is the time to start some new healthy habits. And this is the yes. perfect time for that. Um, but even things like staying in touch with people where I just went through organizing my uh, baseball card collection and I started putting them into teams, stacks of teams. And I thought, you know, I don't need all these. So I started just making little care packages of baseball and football cards, sending them to people um, who live in that area. And I got to tell you, people really appreciated that. It was a great thing for me. I got rid of some of my cards and cleared out some clutter, made their day. They said some of them, when they opened the package and they saw, you know, these cards brought them right back to when they were a kid. Um, so finding ways to give back, stay in touch, uh, I think is one of those good uses of your time. So when we do come back and we hit the ground running, it's not like all of a sudden, hey, I'm here, you know. Yeah. You haven't heard from me for, you know, uh, six months, but uh, so finding creative, clever, caring ways to stay in touch with people is an efficient way to get ready to hit the ground running when things get back. Right. And not necessarily reaching out to people with an eye towards business, but towards yes. an eye for, of, hey, you're important to me and I want you still in, in my life in some way. So it's not not in a a uh, calculated way it's just like hey i missed you i miss you now you know it's funny i just assumed that everyone knew that but th you're right i got a letter recently from someone who i say letter an email saying you know you're one of the few pe people that didn't ask for something you just sent me uh, i sent her a book and just oh, said nice. hey you know i know you have time to finally read and i know you're an avid reader here's one of my books i didn't ask for anything in return and i did it really just because i thought she'd enjoy the book um she nice. said, most people are reaching out like you said with an ulterior motive but, exactly uh, as just, this relates to efficiency i mean it's just one of those things where you have you know it is who you know and people like to work with those they like it makes it easier to get going when you have people that you know want to hear from you like you want to work with you and you've done that now so that when we get back to business you'll be on their mind exactly. in a good way exactly and to refer to your point where you were talking about working out you know getting you mentioned that just in passing one of the things that i think has been super helpful for me and and a lot of people that i know is working on just micro habits and I think I've talked about this before. I've been working on them and I am using the most basic of things, a, a star chart. Um, you know, it's a, it's a calendar and I have four things that I have to accomplish each day. And if I accomplish them, I get a sticker for that thing. And you know, one of them is, is stretching every day and working out for 30 minutes is another one. And each time I do that, I get a sticker and it's so silly, but it is totally working. Those are my micro habits. You know, 10 squats, I'm supposed to do 10 squats a day. That is not in the grand scheme of things going to make me, you know, an athletic God, but it is, it's going to help. I mean, that's 300 squats a month, basically doing nothing. You know, it's like waiting for tea to, to do its thing. And I just do some squats in the, in the kitchen but I get a sticker for it. And that's my micro habit. And micro habits are habits that are, you know, they're so small, you'd be embarrassed to tell your friends about it, but they do move you forward because there's some days where I'm like, heck, 10 squats, I'm going to do 40, you know, but I've, as long as I do 10, I get my sticker. And I think we can all look at things that maybe we want to be accomplishing and find like the smallest part of it that we can start doing every day. And, you know, get yourself a sticker, a pat on the back, whatever. I think stickers are great because they allow you to track how well you did each week. But it's just, it's, yeah. a, it's a minor little thing that you can be doing. 
You know, I want to just say something. The, I love that we continue to do the show even though we can't be together <laughs> um, and we keep it going. And, and, you know, every episode I put in the homework uh, and I would say to do anything that I wouldn't do and that you would do. I'm a sticker. I put stickers on my calendar as well. I have my own system. Um, but I really care about the people that listen. I mean, I feel a responsibility yeah. to, to pass on information that will help you be better, faster, easier, and more efficient. So um, if you're listening, I want to thank you. Uh, this is something that I love doing and I, I feel it's some small way, because we don't charge, uh, that we can give back. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being there. Exactly what Lee said. So <laughs> be with us again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. Be safe out there. <laughs>